Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the latte makeup trend. I want to show you my interpretation of it. It's basically my go-to glam makeup because I love bronze, warm caramel tones. It is my go-to, it is my favorite, and I know a lot of you really wanted to see the look I've been wearing in a bunch of my videos that is latte inspired. I just consider it bronzy, but it does fit the trend and I wanted to stick to those tones for this video in case you wanted to see my interpretation of latte makeup. I pulled tones that I just feel like are gonna work for this look and I am recreating the makeup that I wore in my best of video. If you saw that and wanted to see, you'll see it in this video. So thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, for spending some time with me today. If not already, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos. Let's jump into this latte makeup. Starting off with the eyes, I already have my brows and base done. Same old, same there. And I'm going to be using Benefit Hula Caramel. This is a go-to color of mine for my eyes. I use this in my crease, all over my lid, I use this all the time just as an eyeshadow in addition to bronzer. It is literally the perfect color for this makeup look. You could wear it any way I said. You can make this a lighter makeup look. Wear it all over the lid. Smoke it up, deepen it up. Use this on your face for bronzer. I feel like this color, you can just do pretty much the whole look with Benefit Caramel. Such a good staple color for this. So if you don't already have it, phenomenal for eyes or face, whatever you're gonna use it for. I have a huge dent in this. I use it all the time. I've even done eye looks just with this all over my eyelid. It is such a perfect color. I had to have a Starbucks for this video and they gave me a little toucan. That is so cute. Never had a sticker on my Starbucks before. So I'm using a BK Beauty 202, dipping into the Hula Caramel. And then I'm just going to blend this all over the eye. You can get this on your lid. You can blend it up to the crease. It really doesn't matter where this goes, just blend it out because I will be making this very bronzy on the lid. I'm just going back and building this up slightly to get it to my desired intensity and depth. Latte makeup, you could do any interpretation of this. You can make it lighter, you can go more smoky and deep. I'm doing a deeper version just because that's what I've been wearing and I've really been loving just a nice bronzy eye. But you can definitely lighten this up if you want. Just using the same brush, I'm gonna go in with a little bit lighter of a shade to further blend this out. And I'm just using my Sigma Switch. I love this. Comes in so handy when I wanna use the same brush and just rub off the color on it. Then for this look, I also used the shade Impostable in the Too Faced palette. I just strictly looked at tones and eyeshadows, bronzers, whatever, whatever I thought fit a latte vibe and went that way. I really love this tone. It has a more orange base to it. It's a little bit lighter, but I feel like it ties in that caramel tone, which I personally really like for a latte look. For me, for flavoring, caramel just tops everything. A caramel latte, and do you say caramel or caramel? Option one, caramel. Option two, caramel. Or maybe you say it like a third way. You can put number three in the comments if that's the case. I'm just getting the basic shape. The edges don't so much matter because I'm putting on my foundation. I'm gonna further blend it into that, but I just like getting down the base of my look when I do my eyes first. And then it's just easier for me to do everything around it. And then I don't often highlight my brow, but I feel like for this look, it's really nice to put a cream because depending on the color of a latte, I feel like you have that foam part too. And just incorporating some lighter tones like this always just tie it together. So I'm gonna actually blend this into all that blending that I did just to create a little bit of a highlight. But I honestly, I never highlight my brow anymore but I did for this look and I just really liked how it turned out. Makes it a little bit more clean. And then for the lid using the Too Faced Italian Spritz palette, I like to take the bronze shade over here and I do mix a bit of that Grappa Don't Preach, the gold, just to lighten the bronze. And I feel like those two together create my perfect kind of latte bronze color. Almost like a little bit of cinnamon on top, I feel. It's kind of like the icing on the cake. Going back in with the Hula Caramel and just a smaller brush. This is from Morphe. It's going to blend 
in this outer corner. I'm deepen it up ever so slightly. For eyeliner, I've been loving this pencil. If you follow my channel, you already know. <laughs> this is the Makeup by Mario, the Perfect Brown. I'm gonna use this end and then smoke it out with the brush on the other end, and I'm just going to do a light eyeliner. I don't typically go all the way either. I go about halfway, get the shape down, small wing, and then I just flip it around and blend that out. For this look, I'm putting on a little bit of mascara, but I will be using falsies. My go-to are the BK Beauty Risa Does Makeup Day Club Lashes. I need to use a new pair of these because my other ones were much loved. And then I add just a little corner lash on top of those just to give a little bit more dimension and drama in the outer corner. So I love to do that. I love to customize lashes and that's like my perfect lash is just a little bit heavier on the outer corner. So I'm just going to take my Rare Beauty mascara, quickly coat my lashes, pop those on, come back to do the face and then we'll complete the eyes after we're done the face. The Day Club lashes look so good on their own. I love them. Eyes are done. Now we have a lot to do for skin prep and to get the base ready. I cannot tell you how much I love this product. It's gonna be in my monthly faves. I'm not sure if it's coming up before or after this video. Just got back from vacation and my schedule's all over the place, but I brought this along with me. My favorite sunscreen to date, and it is the Beauty of Josen sunscreen. It's super popular on TikTok. It's Korean made and you guys were telling me to get into Korean skincare because their formulations are known to not cause acne for a lot of people. And this one, zero breakouts, very, very rare with North American sunscreens for me to not break out from a sunscreen. I am so happy about this. It is super hydrating. It doesn't have a white cast. It feels incredible on the skin. I just, I cannot tell you enough how much I love this sunscreen. And I purchased mine from Stylevana, all my Korean skincare, that's where I get it from. So I will have it linked below, but it's Stylevana that you wanna get it from and they always have deals. I think when I purchased, I got two of these for around $30 Canadian, which is really, really good. I will be using a matte foundation. We're going to be matching the body and I have quite a bit of color going on. So I'm going to use something very hydrating because the foundation I'm using is matte. This one is from Beauty Blender. I'm obsessed with this. Also brought it to the cottage because when I'm out in the sun all the time, I need hydrating products. When I do makeup, not that I did makeup all that much, but there was occasions that I did and I needed a hydrating base. This is perfect to go underneath my more matte foundations. I love how it smells too. And the last thing I've been trying to use up is my Tatcha the Silk Canvas. Not that I honestly feel like I need pore filling products at the moment because my skin has been really good lately, but I like this because it is skincare and it is smoothing. So I am trying to use it up. Have certain products that I'm trying to project pan on my own time haven't been filming it, but this is one on ones if you're curious that I've been trying to work through. Skin is looking and feeling so good. I love that combination of products. And then I will be matching my body. My face is considerably lighter. I use SPF 50, I wear a hat, I don't get sun on my face. So I do need to match my body. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte. It's 24 hour wear. This is incredible if you need something long wearing and perfecting on the skin. I use the shade Golden and it's probably one of the best matches I've ever found for when I have a tan. Then for concealer, this color works perfectly with a tan for me. It is from Tarte, it's their Shape Tape and I use Medium Tan Sand. It's really nice, it's not too brightening. I don't like too bright of an under eye as of lately. Still gives enough brightness, it's definitely lighter than my foundation, however, I do put an even lighter one on my nose. This just helps with contouring it. Then blending this out with the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. I've actually been doing my contour before concealer, it's just habit. Sometimes I go back to always doing my concealer next. But I'm going to start off with a base and this is gonna show up very, very subtly on my skin just because of the tone of it. However, I love the undertone and I love how subtle it is because I will be building up my bronzer. I will be putting that caramel color on top but I do like a cream base and this is the Give Beauty Compact that I've been raving about. I love the creams. I'm using my BK Beauty 109 and you can see this isn't too much 
different than my skin. It is subtle, but I love that sort of tone and the base for this look. It's all about undertone and building. I feel like lattes have depth of tone. That's why I like creating that kind of dimension with similar tones, but different depths to create that kind of gradient you see in a really nice latte. See how natural that tone looks like on the skin? Really pretty finish too. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my blush before we set everything. I feel like this color is fairly perfect because it doesn't have too much color in it and it really plays into that bronzy look also for the kind of tones we're looking for. And it is the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Face Bronze Color in Sun Kissed. And this is really pretty, it has a red undertone and it's not too much color where I feel like it throws off the look, but also adds a little bit something compared to just leaving it like a bronze cheek. So I feel like this is super flattering for a latte look. And once we set with powder and do bronze on top, it kind of ties it together. So it's a subtle color, but very, very fitting for the look I feel. Perfect for summer too. If you haven't tried Sunkiss from Nude Sticks, it is a must have. And I'm just still using that 109. I literally use this brush for all my cream products. Then I've been back to using the Hourglass powder. It is so good. I try so much product that I forget about other things that I love, but I revisited this and it is so good. You guys, I cannot get enough of this. This is my number one loose powder. It looks so good on the skin. And I just have a bunch of mini still that I'm using. Well, they're deluxe sizes. I have, <laughs> I have a bunch of them. So once I'm done, I'll purchase the full size. And I saw they came out with a couple new colors, which is exciting. And it's talc free. It's one of the few that are on Sephora that are talc free. If you look, if that's something that you want for a powder. If I want a little bit more coverage though, I always use my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. It's pressed. I feel like looks really good underneath the eyes and adds a little bit more coverage if that's what I'm going for. I feel like my under eye is looking fairly good right now. So I'm just going to use the hourglass because I really like the finish and I don't need any extra coverage underneath my eyes. And once I've set the under eye, I'm going to lightly press this into the rest of my skin. I just love how subtle and soft this looks like on the skin. Now that we're lightly set, have a little bit of glow still from that powder. We didn't disturb the finish that we worked on for the base. Even though the foundation is matte, I don't feel like it looks overly drying or anything like that. The finish isn't overly matte. I think it looks fairly natural on my skin. If it was too matte, I wouldn't like it, but I do like it for how perfecting it makes the skin and how long wearing. So I feel like this is my perfect sort of finish for the skin. And then we're gonna go ahead and use that caramel bronzer now just to add a little bit more dimension to the skin. And this is really gonna tie in all the tones. And I feel like is an essential step is adding what you used on the eyes into your face. It just ties everything together. I feel like for the latte makeup look, me going a little bit heavy handed with the bronzer isn't such a bad thing <laughs> with this. Still really nice and blended, but you can definitely see it. And I'm taking the brush, which they don't, make these anymore for the bronzers, which is unfortunate. I actually use this brush. Guess other people would toss it. It's running a little bit down my nose just so it doesn't get lost. And then to help with the nose contour, I am going to be adding just a little bit of highlight. And I feel like this color is perfect for a latte makeup. You could do something bronzy too, but I feel like for my skin tone, this just adds perfect amount of gold. And it looks very skin-like. So it looks like I'm glowing from within without applying too much color because it matches my skin tone so well. Just helping contour the nose. And then you can add a little bit to the cheeks if you wanna glow. I haven't been adding too much highlight as of lately. For an iced latte look, maybe you would want a little bit of highlight. Just a little bit. I don't overdo it to add that glaze. Then to finish off underneath the eyes, taking that Caramel Hula shade, running it under, not doing too much here. And then taking the Makeup by Mario pencil, putting it in the waterline and adding a little bit of mascara. Nothing fancy, just tying in the tones from the upper lid. Moving on to lips. I did use a different lipstick for my best of beauty video and it had more of a pink tone. It's the Ferris Nude from L'Oreal. 
I'm just switching it up ever so slightly for the latte look just because I don't want it to have as much pink, though this lip combo was super pretty. Very, very slight difference, but I wanted to use Honey Love from MAC Cosmetics. I haven't used that in a while, but I thought it would be perfect color to tie in all the tones, and I like a honey tone too. Matches with the hair. I just feel like it all is gonna work out even better than that lip combo. So starting off with Refai Fawn, this is a perfect tone for this look, I feel like. Overlining my top and bottom lip, and then I am gonna be going in just with the outer corners with the Too Faced Lip Injection and In Big Truffle. I love how plumping this is, and it's just gonna add a darker tone and dimension to the lip. Once the lipstick is filled in, I just feel like this creates the perfect ombre look. And then going in with MAC Honey Love, I'm just gonna dab this in the center of the lips and blend everything together. Then to complete it, I am using a gloss. I've been obsessed with the Buxom ones again. I go through phases of this, but White Russian is always in my collection. I'm just putting a dab of this in the center. I feel like the color is perfect for this. It's like a brownie pink, but leans more brown on me. So I just feel like it completes the latte look really nicely and having that tonal difference. Such a pretty lip combo. And then to finish off using my Beauty Blender Spray, if I can get it working. I just love the smell of this and the primer. I want this in a perfume. <laughs> Pretty sure I had it in a perfume. <laughs> so I'm gonna let everything melt together and if I need to after I've used a spray, I will go back in with my puff and just press in the areas that I need to. And when I'm out, I don't add extra product. All I do is bring a puff with me and repress in any areas I need to and that takes care of everything for me. <laughs> I don't need to bring around powder or anything like that. I'm normal leaning dry for skin type and I feel like a puff is all I need throughout the day. So I'm just going to see how everything looks. Might press it together, we will see. And I'm going to add in my hair extensions, which I feel like completes this look. And I got these for $30 Canadian on Amazon. They are one of the best sellers. They are synthetic hair, but the color of this is literally perfect for my hair and it has these beautiful caramel highlights in it which I just feel like matches my hair and completes the look. It also has this really nice bend to it. You don't have to style these. You couldn't add heat anyways, but I literally curl my hair. I haven't brushed it out yet. Pop these in, brush everything together and that's as easy as it is for me is just clipping these in and I have that big hair you've guys been seeing. I will link these for you, but they are synthetic hair, $30 Canadian, you can't go wrong. Tons of different colors. This is one of my favorite beauty finds from Amazon ever. They are so, so good. I need to brush them out. I wore these out the other night, so they do look a little bit messy. So brush them out before you clip them in, brush them together, you're good to go. You'll see it when I come back. I'm back, here is the completed hair and makeup. Love this look. I've been obsessed. You guys see me in so many videos <laughs> wearing this makeup. I'm a huge fan of this trend. Love these tones. And I figured, you know what, for this video, let's actually add in what I would wear for a fragrance for this. I would do a fragrance of the day in a lot of videos. And I just wanted to bring it back. So today, I'm using this fragrance from Oil Perfumery. They do recreations of very popular fragrances, niche fragrances, things that are expensive that they make more affordable and they're so, so good. I know so many of you already have and you always ask me for a coupon code or whatnot for this. I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. I don't have any code. <laughs> I just absolutely love the company I have for years and it was one of you who put me onto them and I just always have to share my love for the brand. So they do such a good version of Intense Cafe from Montal. And I'm gonna wear that today because I feel like it's suitable for a latte look and I like a caramel latte. So that is what we're doing today. Do some Intense Cafe. Smells so good, so suitable for this look. And that is the completed latte makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe discovered some more products you can add to your collection to help you create this look or just use what you have at home like I did. The tones aren't hard to come by. I mean, warm tones, caramel tones, 
they're always around. <laughs> so these are the products that I use to create this and I love how it turned out. I've been wearing this look, as I said, going out for videos, whatever. I just love the tones. I love a bronzy look. And this is my version of kind of a glam latte, I would say, if I were to do this more natural. I think adding some faux freckles would be super cute for the look and just using that caramel bronzer in the crease and on the face, I think would be really, really nice with a nice brown gloss. That's how I would do it naturally. But this is more glam, <laughs> which I've been really enjoying lately. So I hope you guys do too. I feel like there's a lot of more natural looks out there, but I did wanna go more glam. And this is what I've been wearing apart from the lipstick change, which I wanted to have it more of a brown tone for this look. So that is everything that I used in that previous video. If you wanted to know that look that I did and was wearing, you have it here. It is my version of latte makeup. And I absolutely loved filming this video for you guys. So thank you so much for requesting me to do it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not already, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos, and we'll see you guys in my next one.